flock was hauling up the pot, the buoy popped out, slamming engineer Lenny Lekanoff in the head and slicing his face open. On the Saga ship, the crew received a distress call about a sunken ship and immediately attempted to save the dying crew. 31 year old Captain Elliot Neese, a chance to be a hero. Oh, that. Oh my god, this is terrible. Up now. Is everybody in the life raft? Roger. I'll get as close as I possible. As if this wasn't already insane enough, the ship experienced some significant malfunctions. Thankfully, they were able to clutch up and save the crew. During season 10, and one day into one of the coldest winters on record, Elliot Neese and his crew saved all six lives aboard the sinking Arctic Hunter. Elliot, his dad, and his crew were heroes that day. After this stressful moment, the captain started drinking as a way to cope with the situation. And he goes in this room is going to use. He actually thinks that nobody can see what's going on. On the Cape Caution ship, the weather was getting worse and worse and would result in a 35 foot wave coming to the crew's way, potentially putting the lives of the entire crew at risk. This 35 foot tall wave shattered and completely broke multiple pieces of the boat. Some of the damage was so bad that there was no way to fix it. And this wave cost the crew thousands of damages. The Cape Caution's deck, shattering deck boards and damaging the sorting table. Unfortunately, a crew member got a horrible injury on their hand as a result of the wave. When did it get bad? Well, when we uh, went down to, the, to take a nap before. I couldn't... One of the deckhands got injured in their hands. It was also this deckhand's third week working. His entire body hurt and needed to get his hands checked immediately. His hand was super inflamed, but luckily was able to continue working after a while of recovery. God damn it! Three members of Jake's crew are still AWOL. Captain Jake Anderson had an extremely rough start to the season, as some of his crew members did not even show up and ended up getting drunk. The newly unemployed Saga crew arrives at the hotel to claim their belongings. Supposedly we were fired, I guess. For what? Going out and have a couple of drinks. I mean, this is... Matter of fact, I'm gonna call that right now. This you don't touch my... Eventually, Jake found out about their behavior and then confronted the drunken crew members. There's no drinking. You said go have dinner. How do you know we were drinking? Okay, let me ask you this, officer. Why are you talking to them? Talk to me. You know what? You arguing with me right now is... This altercation ultimately ended up in Jake firing these crew members and even got the police involved. This would also make progressing through the season a lot more difficult without a full team. Oh, man, we can get this thing dialed in. Clock is a ticking. On the wizard ship, the crew found a decent amount of crabs. Yeah. Oh, it's got a cup on it. As they were lifting up the crab pots, an injury occurred. Ah! Man down, man down! 
As the block was hauling up the pot, the buoy popped out, slamming engineer. This massive blow to the head left this engineer on the floor and in excruciating pain. The crew immediately checked up on him. Probably put some butterflies on it, hold it, and basically uh, get it um, get it closed up, and uh, that might do the trick. This shocked the entire crew and shows how fast insane moments can occur. The best in the business can get hurt in a split second. Captain Grays was aiming to obtain a bonus, but in the process, one of the crew members got an insane injury. Boys are tired. Feels like I'm about to fall overboard. <laughs> This 600 pound block collapsed and nearly crushed Justin Frost to death. Thankfully, he survived, but still endured a rather harsh injury. I gotta see if Frost is okay. It would have been really bad when the pin came out and fell straight down. Frost, you would have been in a different spot. <laughs> Could have killed his ass. The Southwind ship was returning from a long expedition when unexpectedly, the captain lost control of the ship and was headed towards another ship. Bad. Looking bad. Oh. Oh. Come on. Hey, what the Nobody had a bag ready. Neither the two ships collided, causing a significant amount of destruction inside both of the ships. Unfortunately, this left a big dent on the Summer Bay ship. What the, f the starboard stern has a new christening by my buddy Harley. Jackass. <clears throat> that was. Damn it. Wild Bill was pretty upset at the damage done to the ship, but thankfully, the ship did not sink and he was still doing well. Our crab fishing game will potentially not give us a fishery next year. So it's really a big deal for us to get out and get this stuff caught 